Hi everyone, my name is Corinne and I have a video for you today all about how to style formal wear for everyday use. This video was inspired by the hundreds of suits that I own and also my fun collection of party dresses. For this video, I wanted to play with how I could style them in my everyday life. So I put together a few outfits, two of them use dresses. I have a couple like really puffy prom style dresses that um, I wanted to style up for this. And the final outfit will actually be using a suit and more sort of menswear. On this channel, we are all about duality, never performing entirely within one gender. So yeah. This is the video. I love all of these looks. I think they are really fun. They're just really fun and playful and like exciting. And I can't wait to wear them to work this week, which I will be doing. If you're a coworker watching, hello. Now you know why I've been dressing in prom dresses at work. Also, I will be looking to the side throughout this video because I have um, a few pictures of the outfits to remind myself to talk about everything thoroughly. So if my eyes go this way, that's what that is. So the first look is actually using this gorgeous prom dress. Um, I have it right here, I'm gonna show you. So this is it, it's just like white and cream lace um, with a black skirt at the bottom. It's just a regular sort of 80s prom dress. It's very fun and um, the, my favorite part about it is it has this really fun white bow on the back. Um, it's just about knee length, maybe a little bit below knee length and it's just a really fun piece. So this is my starting piece. So uh, say you were, are wearing this dress um, to a formal event. You might throw on a pair of heels, maybe some long gloves, maybe your hair would be in like a high bun, maybe there would be necklaces and rings and it would be like super femme and super cute and just lovely, altogether lovely. But now we are in the real world where we are not dressing up and we are not wearing heels every day. Sorry, Carrie Bradshaw, that's not actually how New York is. You wanna wear this in a way that is comfortable, but that is also stylish and sort of accentuates the dress. So what I have done is I've paired it with a white button up shirt and some black jeans. A very easy way to dress down your dress up dress <laughs> is by following the colors in the garment itself. So this dress is just black and white. So I chose other black and white garments. Now these garments have different um, sort of weights to them. So this shirt is a cotton shirt. It has the words New York uh, applique onto the chest and the jeans are sort of a heavier weight cotton um, I actually usually have these cuffed up because um, they are quite long, but I thought that sort of like a bunchy sort of oversized denim at the bottom of the skirt would be a fun play on oversized puffiness of the skirt itself. So I sort of kept the top part white and kept the bottom part black or sort of charcoal gray which I think is also just really fun. I think this is just a really playful outfit and to sort of add to the playfulness, I have these buns in my hair. It's sort of like the most playful hairstyle you could do that sort of like gives the neckline and gives everything sort of like a chance to breathe. And then at the bottom of the look, I felt like this look was sort of going into like an alternative punk, type universe so i just accentuated that by throwing on these black studded boots that i have these are a good way to like toughen an outfit up and it's sort of like a play on the that trope 
of when a girl, an alternative girl gets ready for prom. She doesn't want to wear heels, but her mom's like, no, please wear heels. And she's like, no, I'm going to do it my way. And then puts on a pair of black leather boots. That's what I think of. I think of like a puffy prom dress that like the mom picked out and then black boots. But these are fun. These are studded. Um, they're by Marc Jacobs. So they're a little, a little fancy. But I just think this is a really fun look. And again, kept it simple with the jewelry. Anyway, I also quite like that you turn around and it's just bam, a big bow on the back. It's that very 80s thing of let's just add a giant bow onto a garment and call it a day, which I'm very much here for. I think it's very fun. So my next outfit is actually using this green dress, which I don't believe I've shown before on this channel, but it is one of my favorite, more formal dresses. So this is the dress that I used. It's this gorgeous green silk strapless, um, again, with a, a sort of longer puffy skirt, very similar shape. I would say to the last one but this one is a little bit longer and because it is silk it does have a different movement to it it's this gorgeous green color it is perfect for redheads i love it with all of my heart but i barely get to wear it so in this outfit my mind instantly went to pairing this with denim in specific blue denim but you could honestly go in any direction denim in general is a less formal material so when you're thinking about paring down your formal attire make sure you consider what materials you are deciding to pair it with because the materials do a lot of the work for you in this case i happen to have these jeans that are a similar blue to this denim top that I have, that are a similar blue to this jacket that I have. And so I thought that putting them all together might be sort of a fun Canadian tuxedo, but with like a formal dress in the middle type look. I also am just obsessed with the silhouette that this gives me. It's, it feels sort of very Dior circa 1950. I'll insert a picture if I can find what I'm thinking of with just the like gorgeous tailored jacket bodice with the larger sort of circular skirt at the bottom. Also, this was so fun to twirl in. I can't even express to you how thrilling that was for me <laughs> to be spinning around on my roof. Yeah, I just, this dress is just one of my favorite things in the world. I can't believe I haven't done this before because I definitely will be wearing this look out like this. But yeah, I like how the shirt and the jacket sort of become one garment on the top. And I like how the dress sort of effectively becomes a skirt. With this outfit, I wanted sort of a more classic earring. So I just put on my regular silver ones. You've seen them before, you'll see them again. And then for the bottom of this look, I actually chose these white heeled boots that I have. You've also seen those before if you've watched my videos. They are a perfect boot. The thought of pairing black with the, with the look irks you. Like it gives you a feeling that you can't explain but that you hate you know i don't know do you ever get that feeling where you're just like if i pair black with this it will ruin everything and i will perish you know i don't know is that just me anyway with this denim top a button actually came off the center of it which is a very sad moment but i always just substitute that button for a pin so i have this pin that I got in Scotland when I was there and it's actually kind of perfect because it's small and circular so it just looks like a fancy button or something but that's a good tip for any of you if you lose a button on something you can just throw on a pin. For the third and final look I do have a menswear moment for all you people who love your menswear. I might not be the average Joe um, in that I don't consider suiting formal wear because I wear suits so often like constantly wear suits when I was thinking about a menswear look I was combing through my wardrobe trying to find a menswear formal wear 
piece that like most that some people might have but that they might not be wearing unless it is to a formal occasion I thought of okay ding 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 tailcoats some people have them most people in the UK have them because they wear them to weddings but some people in the US actually have them hi if you're one of those people love you appreciate you um I'm a huge fan of tail coats I love tail coats I love frock coats I love morning coats I love it all give me a coat with a tail on it give me a long menswear look and I will treasure it for the rest of my life but I actually recently acquired this tail coat which I'm about to show you here it is um as you can see, it is sort of black and green. It is wool, and I believe that this is silk. I love this especially because of its imperfections. I love all of the sort of wear and the sort of like sun bleaching that is happening on the sleeves and on the back which you'll see in the video clips is definitely apparent, but I think it's just so beautiful. Maybe I'm on my own here, but it sort of is a lighter green in some places and a darker green in others. And I think that's really unique and beautiful. When I was thinking about what direction to take this in, I immediately thought of this itty bitty men's <laughs> green vest that I actually already owned. Um, long before I got this coat and they match perfectly and I cannot believe it I literally cannot believe it I it like when I put them together I was like there's just no way that these weren't created together or they were maybe they were just destined to find each other because they are the perfect match and I got very very happy about it so I started with sort of a classic formal menswear combo which is like tail coat waistcoat button-up shirt right but then the sort of the bottom of the look is where it becomes a little bit less conventional um i layered this denim skirt underneath these sort of pants skirt thing that i actually made this is a great tip also, if you're into making things and you're just excited about reconstructing and deconstructing and all of that nonsense, this was actually a pair of wool, like tailored trousers that I bought from a thrift store, actually with the intention of doing this. Um, they were $2 and I was like, okay, this is perfect. Um, they are a little bit large, so I just took them in at the waist. And then basically what I did is I deconstructed the inseam of the trousers as well as the outseam right up until sort of like the end of the pocket bags. So there is enough coverage to technically wear it as like a mini skirt with like long legs attached, but I've been sort of using it as a layering piece with skirts and with other trousers. This is a fun idea if you do have a tailored sort of formal wear tuxedo thing that you're just like oh I'm never gonna wear this again you know this is boring to me now I want a new life for it you can deconstruct the trousers and make it into a skirt and that might be fun to wear I don't know just an idea but I actually really like the way that all of these pair together I like the way that the pant legs move in coordination with the back of the tail coat. I quite like that it still has integrity as like a tailored formal wear look, but it does use unconventional garments and materials, again with the denim sort of informal material and then with a very formal material but a very informal garment sort of combination of everything is very exciting to me. I also love how the black and the green and the dark gray sort of play off of each other. The tail coat and the vest both have black detailing on the lapels, on the piping of the vest and on the buttons throughout. And then underneath, I just put on a pair of black cotton tights 
and these black boots that I have. But yeah, anyway, I just, I like really excited about all of these looks. They're fun to jump in, they're fun to move in, they're fun to just exist in and they don't feel constrictive, they don't feel formal, they don't feel boring, they feel exciting. I think that's something that I really like focusing on with these videos and with my channel as a whole. It is a goal of mine to really use and reuse things in your closet as much as you can for as long as you can. I think, you know, if you are interested in fashion, it is inherent and it, you, you are sort of pushed as a consumer to keep buying and to keep up with the trends and to keep up with you know anything new that's happening and what I really like to focus on with myself and and what I'm what I'm hoping you can get from this video is that you can use and reuse your clothes for almost anything like literally anything you you can be wearing all of your clothes every day there doesn't have to be an occasion there doesn't have to be a specific place you're going to there doesn't have to be there just you don't have to have plans to be excited about clothes or to dress in the clothes that you love and so i really hope that you get from this video that there is no limit to fashion there is no limit to clothing there is no limit to how you can pair things together Anyway, please let me know if this inspired you to wear your formal wear pieces to work, to pick up your kid from school, to the dry cleaners, wherever you want to go, let me know. Anyway, until then, um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it. I always enjoy making it. Ugh, it's so much fun. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.